Hey everyone, I am in the 13 Days of Spook swap in Brittany's group on Facebook. I will link my partner's information down below as well as the Facebook group um, if you're interested in that. Of course, I won't post this until after my partner's already opened um, all of her gifts and everything because I don't want to spoil anything. So this will be going up um, probably after Halloween or after all the group, all the gifts are open. So here's the gifts that I have. I might add like little things to each one before I send it. I don't, or, or little things into the box because I'm about to wrap these um, as little extras. Um, but for now, this is what I have as the um, gifts. So this is one of them. It's the uh, Park Lane Crips and Cobwebs uh, Ephemera and Pad. Then I have, uh, from Bath and Body Works, I have a warmer plug um, and then a refill. It's a Halloween scent in Moonlit Graveyard. And then I have these. And it was supposed to be a mix of handmade and um, store-bought things. So uh, I did make this out of resin. You can put like a little candle, um, tea light candle in there, or you can put, um, you know, little trinkets in there. And then I have this uh, little sequin mix that I got. I put it in a syringe and I tied this ribbon around it. And then I have this coffee cup that I made. And then inside is just um, some words cut up. I don't know if you can see that, some Halloween words. So those are going to be together. Then I have this little pad here that I got from Timu. Um, I have some little black jimmies and some Halloween buttons. And I did write my partner and ask her the different things that she liked and she did say like buttons and things like that. Um, and then she said she liked Tim Holtz. So I got this uh, Halloween sticker pad and then also this um, Halloween, uh, what do you call these? Like cardboard things. It's got like uh, doors, windows, words. So those are gonna be together. Then I have this album that I made here. Let's see if I can, I'm not sure I can get it all in one shot here. Turn it this way. But it's just a bow up here. Here's a tie. Um, you open it and it's filled with a bunch of die cuts um cat pumpkin another pumpkin and then in each side there's little pockets um and it's got more die cuts in here that's just little random ones this one's random ones and then oh, then on the next page got little haunted house uh happy halloween words um inside this one is some oh these are cutouts that i had little starbucks halloween cups um let's see then on this page it's like a haunted house here um this right here is a coffin box that you fold i actually have one that i have for one of the gifts that i'll show um in a little bit so this you fold and make a box out of and then you just top it with one of these so that's die cut out for her. All she has to do is fold it and glue it. Um, and this one let's see, is little ghosts. And then we got some spider webs, some like blood drip in different uh, colors, some ghosts, and then some like spooky trees. And then in here we have a witch flying on a broom and a bat. Then on this page, another witch flying on a broom, um, two different witches flying on brooms. Then over here is we have a witch hat and a broom. So that's gonna be tied right here into a bow. So that's another gift. Then this. It's a spooky stack of books that I made. This is the one that has the two drawers. So 
the top here says something wicked this way comes. It's got a little Velcro here. You open it and then I have a bunch of little bows here. These are like the faux leather material and then the backing is paper, like um, cardstock. So there's a bunch of those in the top there, the little bows. And then in the two drawers, I have bigger bows. Like that. And then down here is the bigger drawer. So and they're all in there. Just like that. Ooh. Uh -oh, I got caught on something there. All right, so that's another gift. Then I made this Halloween journal. It says, by the light of the moon, open it. And then it's just got some coffee dye paper that I've um, inked around the edges. There. So there's that. Then a, another thing I made was this moon. It's got some flowers down here, a little like spooky tree branches. And then it has a little thing up here where you can hang it on the wall or whatever. There's that. Right, another gift is gonna be all this together. So I have this um, Halloween twine, these two little dies. It's got two bats in it. And then this one's a witch flying on a broom. And then this right here can be used as a pokey tool and it's very sturdy, or you could use it for a lot of things in crafting. Um, so I got that. And then a thing full of um, charms. I'm probably gonna put this in a, like a cuter little thing. Um, then I made this little necklace. I just put a charm on it, Halloween charm. Then uh, she said that she liked um, wool applique needles. So I got some of those for her. Then there's this green set. Again, I'm probably gonna put these in like a cuter thing, but it's got like a green jimmy in there. And then this is a spooky necklace. Um, I'm gonna put this in something different too, so I'll go ahead and take it out. So there's that. I thought that was cute. And then here's the little coffin box I was talking about earlier. And then you just open it and I made a bunch of resin bats. And I also made these little claws, like dragon claws. And I put all of those in there. And that's all gonna be part of one gift. Okay. Then I have this. Um, this right here, I did not make this. Somebody else did, I have no idea who, um, but it was in my stash. So I'm gonna include this when I wrap this up. Um, I'm just gonna include it on the wrapping. But, uh, I got this, she said she liked vintage Halloween. So I got this um, little towel here, kitchen towel. And I'm going to, I made this out of resin. I'm gonna send this with it. Just like that. And then the last gift is in this bucket here. She said, all right, I did get this. Um, we weren't supposed to include anything from the Dollar Tree or as a, you know, we weren't supposed to make our gift up as stuff from Dollar Tree, but I threw this in as a little extra with this. Um, but it's not the gift. The gift is the these uh, big thing of caramels here. She said she liked caramel, so um, I looked around, and this one had different flavors in it, so I thought that that was cool. It had good reviews, so I was going to put that with the socks in there as a gift. And like I said, I might throw in little extras in the box. And I'm definitely going to put some candy and stuff, which I'll show all of that. Um, I'm going to show everything once I wrap it. 
and I'll also show like because I'm going to decorate the box too, like the inside of the box. Um, so I'll show all of that as I do it. All right, I will catch you guys once I've done all that. Thank you. I just realized I didn't show one of the gifts. Um, this is a little purse that I made, a little Halloween with some fake um, pockets there. I put a little bow here. It's Velcro. And then on the inside is a bunch of paper flowers. That's gonna be one of the gifts. Okay, I wanna quickly show um, everything wrapped. As I said, I might throw in like small extras in the box and as well as I'm gonna throw in candy and like confetti and stuff like that. Um, but I've wrapped all the main gifts. So uh, I just have to put numbers on each one of them so that um, she knows which one to open when. But this is the first one. And this one. This one. And uh, I did add some resin uh, horror character knives that I made, like little big keychain ones. Um, so that's in this gift. Another one. Here's another one. Here's another one. Here's another one. This is the bucket one, obviously. Like that. Right. There's another one. This one. I just added a little bow right there. If you hear noise, I apologize. It's my son. Uh, this one. Those are all the gifts wrapped and um, I will film and show the inside of the box and everything packaged together once I do that. Thank you. Okay, this is the, sorry for the beeping. This is the inside of the box. I put a bunch of confetti and some, some flowers and, sorry about the beeping. Um, some spiders and webs and I put a couple like jack-o'-lantern balloons. I just throw all kinds of stuff in there. So that is the inside of the box, and right now I'm mod podging the outside with some spider web um, tissue paper. And then I'm also going to put some tissue paper in the top to hold uh, it down so that it won't move around.